the ice and snow. This little monkey was about to freeze to death, and, and that's when, he found a hot spring nearby where he could get warm, but this life-saving hot spring, an old monkey had already taken over. While the old monkey was picking fruit to eat, the little monkey secretly put his fingers into the hot spring to warm himself. While he was enjoying himself, a stone came crashing down on him. It turned out that the old monkey had found him. The little monkey had to leave the hot spring with the pain, but he didn't let that stop him. The little monkey climbed up to the branch of the tree to pick a fruit to eat, but the branch was bent by the monkey. Then the old monkey found the little monkey stealing the fruit. And so it was. The little monkey was bounced off the branch. He fell straight into the hot spring. The old monkey couldn't take it anymore. He picked up a stone and tried to hit the little monkey. But the little monkey pulled out a small stone from the bottom. The old monkey fell down heavily. The little monkey saw that he was in trouble and ran away. He even threw the stone backwards. Now the old monkey is enraged. He tried his best to catch the little monkey. He was so angry that he tried to catch him and beat him up. But the little monkey climbed up the tree with great agility. He kept jumping on the branches. The old monkey was too old and weak to climb the tree. He had to chase him from under the tree. The little monkey moves nimbly between the branches. Suddenly a branch breaks. The little monkey fell down. The old monkey was about to teach him a lesson. So he roared at him. But this roar caused a big problem. The old monkey realized that something was wrong and ran away. An avalanche swept in. He was about to be covered by the snow behind him. In the nick of time, two monkeys jumped into a tree next to the hot spring. They were able to escape. But when the avalanche stopped, the only warmth in the hot spring was also deeply covered by snow. For the old monkeys, the hot spring was his life. The old monkey couldn't climb the trees to pick the fruit from them. Without a place to warm himself, he would not survive the cold winter. He blamed the little monkey for all this. He was about to give him a good beating, but he found the little monkey trying to make up for his mistake. The old monkey can't do anything about it, so he leaves in silence. It was probably only death that awaited him. This moment, the little monkey sneaked up on him, seeing a tree with fruit on it. The old monkey climbed up the tree, but his strength was not enough, no matter how hard he climbed he couldn't get up. The old monkey had no choice but to give up. He was so hungry that he picked up the bark of a tree on the ground. Suddenly, a fruit came down on him. He looked up and saw. It was the little monkey who had picked it for him from the tree. The old monkey's anger subsided. It turned out that the little monkey was not so bad-hearted. After eating the fruit, the old monkey threw away the core of the fruit. But he heard the sound of water running. He walked over to see. There was really a river. If you follow the river, I was sure to find a new hot spring. Now the old monkey had renewed hope. The snowstorm is getting heavier and heavier. The two monkeys trudge on through the snow. But soon the young monkey collapsed in the snow. Watching the old monkey move away, the young monkey loses consciousness. But the old monkey doesn't leave him behind. He held the little monkey tightly in his arms. With his own body heat, he gave the little monkey a warm. Soon, they were completely buried by the snow and it was hard to tell if they would live or die. At last, the sky cleared. Luckily, they hadn't frozen to death in the blizzard. The young monkeys emerged from the shelter of the old monkey, but the river had long since disappeared. Just as the old monkey looked desperate, he heard the little monkey's voice. The little monkey signaled to him. If he could only climb over this mountain, he was sure to find a new hot spring. And so, two monkeys, one large and one small, climbing up the cliff and relayed with each other. This is the only way they can hope to live. Undaunted by the danger, they don't give up. At last, they climbed to the top of the mountain. The little monkey pointed his finger at the old monkey. The hot spring they had always dreamed of was right in front of them. The old monkey ran over to them with excitement. But the little monkey was frozen in his tracks. He was afraid that he would cause trouble to the old monkey again. At that moment, the old monkey put the little monkey on his back. He ran quickly to the hot spring. But suddenly, a huge monkey appeared in front of them. What will happen next between these three monkeys? If you are